You heard his reviews of Total Recall and Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days. As he is every Saturday, our Lights yes. Camera Jackson. Hi. So August is usually a bare month for quality movies, but this is the most jam-packed August ever, with close to a dozen films being released over the next five weeks. Got two today, and we're going to start off with Total Recall. And Colin Farrell stars in this reboot of the 1990 Arnold Schwarzenegger film of the same name. Farrell plays Doug, which may or may not be his real name. Doug lives in a futuristic world with his wife, played by Kate Beckinsale, who may or may not be his wife. Doug isn't happy with his life, and temptation leads him to recall, a business that provides fake memories so a person's boring life can seem a lot more exciting. Doug chooses to become a secret agent, but once he gets strapped into the chair, things start to go very wrong, and his real life soon becomes a lot more exciting or it may not be his real life. I can't go much deeper into the plot of Total Recall without giving things away. Now Jackson, this is a remake. Does it seem original? Well, it goes in a different direction than the original, but there's nothing here that'll make you go, wow, that's incredible. Uh, the story gets intentionally complicated, but the problem is that the film isn't good enough to make you care enough to want to follow along. You just sit back and watch the sci-fi scenery and the endless action sequences, and the visual effects are unappealing and unspectacular movie you're not too big on. How are the performances, though? The performances are bland from Beckinsale and Farrell, and their dialogue is lame. Jessica Biel and Bill Nighy are also part of the supporting cast. They may just want to leave this off their IMDb pages. <laughs> and Brian Cranston has been in five movies so far this year, including this one. He's also along for the ride. All right, Jackson, what's great? And the official LCJ report card, Total Recall, gets a D. The good news is this film should be easy to forget. <laughs> it should be. Yes. All right, the second movie out this weekend is another installment in a series you haven't liked so far. No, no, and I didn't think it was possible, but the Diary of a Wimpy Kid film series has sunk to a new low with the latest installment, Dog Days. Greg Hefley, once again played by Zachary Gordon, has just finished the seventh grade. He's still hanging out with his best friend, Rally, and dealing with his wacky parents and older and younger brothers. Summer's here, and Greg has got a crush on a classmate named Holly. His father, Steve Zahn, wants Greg to stop playing video games all day and become more active and responsible. But all Greg wants to do is hang out with Holly. So he starts going to a country club that Rowley belongs to and where Holly teaches tennis. Soon he's sneaking his older brother Roderick into the club as well because he happens to like Holly's older sister. And the whole time Greg's lying to his father who thinks he has a job at the club. Greg and his family get into more strange and awkward situations as the summer goes on, including father and son bonding as wilderness explorers. All of their adventures are embarrassing to watch. There are millions of fans of these books, including you. Yeah. Why can't the movies get it right? Well, I mean, it all comes down to the scripts. And once again, this one has none of the humor and the charm of the books. And this one's especially painful to watch. The script relies so much on rude bath bathroom humor. I mean, you see kids getting hit in their private parts with tennis mm. balls and a kid losing his bathing suit in the swimming pool. Come on, this script doesn't even rise to the level of a bad kid's cable TV show. That's no, disappointing. But the same cast is back together again. Does any Work. Not really. I mean, there's nothing even close to amusing in this film. The performances are embarrassing. There's unnecessary subplots just thrown in and never developed. And even the animated pencil drawings from the books, books which come to life in these movies, they're still used here, but it's getting kind of old. Hmm. All right, what's the grade, Jackson? On the official LCJ report card, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days gets a D minus. What a week. Oh, um, there are three more books in the series. Hopefully, just one more movie, and that'll be it. All right, Jackson.